Hi friends, I'm Rebecca, this is Body Illumination, and this is the Morning Meditation Yoga Flow Series. 10 minutes of your day with a Law of Attraction manifestation theme to help you with your life, to help you with your goals, whatever they may be. So each class has a theme. There will be affirmations and quotes that come onto the screen to help you with your mindset, with your soul and your spirit and your body so that you can start your day on fire and you can accomplish whatever it is that you want to accomplish in your life. So let's just start on the mat and take a seat. Sit comfortable in Sukhasana or on a block, whatever works for you this morning. And sit up nice and tall. Take some time to align your shoulders over your hips and breathe here. And then I want you to really think about what it is you want to cultivate in your practice. The theme of the class is about co-creation, co-creation, meaning that the world can help you create what it is that you want in your life. Others, it could be a ladybug, it could be a friend, it could be me. That would be awesome if I help you co-create, and it would really be awesome if you help me too co-creating. So please feel free to leave comments below. I'd love to hear from you all. What is it that you want to co-create in this world? What is it? What is your intention? Now sip the breath in and then gently release it. Come on forward onto your hands and knees and sit back into child's pose. Come all the way into a child's pose. Drop your forehead down. Now while you're in child's pose, just give yourself permission to be still. Give yourself permission to be okay with whatever you experience, whether it's some busy thoughts or challenges in the body, just be okay with it. And then I want you to roll up, so round through the spine, come all the way up, and then tuck your toes under into a cow and then press back into a high plank. Now just hang out in your high plank and breathe here. Inhale, exhale for three. Inhale, exhale for two. Inhale, exhale for one. Now press back into downward facing. Step the right foot forward and then pivot towards the left edge of your mat. Hold here. You're going to stay here, sink down, and you're welcome to come up high. So you can come up here, or you can come down low, right here. You can use your blocks here too. And just flex that foot. At the same time, I want you to pull your sits bones up into the sky. Now, from here, pivot towards the other edge of your mat. Come back into that lunge. Stay here for a moment. And then turn onto the left side or the other side. So whatever side you didn't do and hold here. Again, I want you to flex that foot. So if that feels appropriate to flex it, you're welcome to keep it down. There's a couple of variations with this. You can come up here if you prefer, reach your arms forward, hands to your heart, or you can come on down low, flex the foot. And it's this tiny little tilt in the sits bones. You just pull them up, your ischial tuberosities, slight pulling up towards the sky. Okay, now come towards center. Turn your toes slightly inward and your heels out. Inhale, lift up halfway. Take your hands to your hips. Get long through your spine and exhale, bow. Drop your head down. Shake out your head, yes. Shake it out, no. Again, shake it, yes. And no. And then go ahead and try to line up your fingertips with your toes. And gently fold forward and drop your head. Open through the backs of your legs.
Now come back forward and we're gonna pivot towards the front edge of our mat where we started. Drop the back knee and come and stand on the back knee, okay? Pause here just for a minute. Now drop the tailbone down and start to bring your hips forward. And then reach your arms up into the sky. Untuck the toes, go a little bit deeper. Sweep the arms down, tuck the toes of the back foot, pivot towards the other end of your mat. Do the same thing, you're gonna drop the knee, keep the toes tucked at first, take your hands to your hips, and then guide your hips forward. Dropping your tailbone down as you Pull the pubic bone up. Reach the arms up into the sky. And then do the same thing here. Untuck the toes. Re-establish that little tuck. So pull the tailbone down again. Guide yourself forward. Reach the arms up. to your heart center, lift your heart up. Then reach your arms forward and come into Plapasana. You're going to have a seat back and just plop down for a moment and then Take one leg out to the side. So if you're mirroring me, it might be your left leg. You're gonna open that leg up. Reach the arm to the inside of the leg or onto a block so you can rest your block here if you prefer. And then you're gonna revolve open. Reach the arm up into the sky. Pull the shoulder onto your back body and then open up through the side body. Now take that arm, reach it towards your toes, take it down, reach it all the way around. Again, pull it down your back, reach up and over. change sides so extend your other leg out open through the back of the leg sit up tall reach through the outside seams of your body and then side bend revolve keep opening and pulling the ribs up towards the sky reach the arm and do this check this out you want to take the arm up towards your head and then pull it down do that a couple of times to just Bring that awareness into the shoulder and the back body, and then open. Maybe reach the arm towards your toes like we did on the other side. Both legs in this time, bring the soles of your feet together to Baddha Konasana. So sit tall here. If you want to, you can start to fold forward, reaching your arms forward, maybe taking them onto a block if that feels appropriate, or just reaching the arms and lengthening through the lower back. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, bow.
slowly come on up, come all the way up to sit. Flip over onto your back side. And as we close our practice, I want you to just come up to your back. Pause here, flip the palms up, close your eyes, and think about what it is you want to create. Sometimes we'll tell ourselves that the laws of attraction or manifestation is not working for us, but we're not even sure what it is that we are trying to create. So sometimes we are creating chaos in our lives, unknowingly that's what we're cultivating. Or or hurt. What is it that you want to do today? Ask yourself that and then just soften. your practice, bring your hands to your heart center. If you'd like to, join me with the sound of home, thinking about what it is you want to create and cultivate in your life. What is it that you want to co-create? Inhale. Om Shanti, 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 Namaste, Namaste. Have a beautiful day, friends so much for joining today. Have a beautiful day. If you want to check out more of Body Illumination, check out our morning series. I'll show some links above and check out our playlist and remember to subscribe and hit the bell. That's really important. Otherwise, you won't be notified of the next videos that come out. And also subscribe at bodyillumination.com. Check out our newsletter and add Rebecca at bodyillumination.com to your mailbox. And it's Rebecca with a K. Our at bodyillumination.com. So add that to your mailbox and look for some ignited, exciting news from me. Have a beautiful night. Thank you and Namaste.